Hello, welcome to Play Your Crafts Right. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world. This is Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name's George Aiken. Happy Saturday, wherever you may be in the world. It's a chance to get a little bit crafty whilst having some fun. If you're brand new, welcome to Crafters TV. And if you're an old time viewer, it's great to have you back. Now, as always, every Saturday we get our games on here on Crafters TV with Play Your Crafts Right, and I'm going to need a competitor. Now, last Saturday, I was here with her and I lost dramatically, but we're back. It's the rematch. It's the wonderful Jan. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, George. It was a lot of fun on Saturday, wasn't it? It we was. Were sort of, we got to a point partway through the show where we thought, are we actually going to win anything today? But we managed to pull it back at the end, didn't we? So let's hope this morning we get a bit more uh, on the go with it. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of what we've got coming up on the show before we get into all the details. Um, so yeah, throughout the morning, we're going to be demoing a lot of these for you. So we've got those beautiful Lee Holland stamps Gorgeous. coming up there. So this, if you like your stamping and colouring, absolutely perfect. Come in the combination of background stamps and then all these gorgeous little characters that you can decorate with. So we're going to be doing one of these shortly to show you how they work if you haven't seen them before. So there are four different backgrounds that you can stamp out to make like a, you know, sort of a feature in the background. And then there's loads and loads of the little characters. We're going to be demonstrating the church here uh, and the most two gorgeous little mice that are getting married absolutely beautiful <laughs> and then the fourth one is that lovely woodland walk background so some really nice ones for you to have you know if you like your coloring or your paper piecing things like that we've also got some of the creator card dies on the show and i'm going to be demonstrating this absolutely <coughs> love moon and stars i'm going to make it into a, a, a shaker box again i've got to think about my shakers at the minute with this one and then we've got some other designs on the show as well so you've got that lovely oh, uh, hot gorgeous. air balloon in there yeah. Right. So I've just picked out one or two. We've also got an old favourite of mine this morning. We've got oh, lots of stamps. Yes. They know that I love my stamping, but the staycation yeah. stamps. So if you like a little bit of travelling or, you know, sort of like tents or caravans, things like that, motorhomes, this is the perfect one. So again, I've just picked a couple out. So you've got the little caravan there. And I love that little old fashioned uh, yeah. caravan on there. And then, you know, not necessarily just card making. We've oh. used it for pop up boxes. Yeah. Uh, this is the one that's for, obviously obviously for the beach scene and everything. Some really nice designs to sit and play with. And then we've got some uh, alphabet letters on the show as well. We've got those beautiful make a statement letters. So we're going to do a happy new home card with these later on. Yeah. Uh, just a couple there to show you. This one was super duper. Watch this. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, so using that's that nice. lettering as a, a focal on the front, but what a beautiful design. I might have yeah. to go at that one. And then, not last but least, a little bit more of the uh, collections going on. We've got that, again, another favourite, the farmhouse collection. I just love these little geese. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And then I think this was one that I, uh, I demoed a while ago. And again, that truck was so, so popular. Yeah, it was. A little bit of acetate in there. So we've got a demo with that coming up as well. So lots to show you during the course of the morning. So where are we starting, George? Well, I've got a confession to make. I have got a confession to make. We're not actually live at the moment. This is all pre-recorded through the magic. Ooh. And I know what you're thinking. Well, hang on a minute, George. If you are not live, are we still going to win? Of course you can. There's a great prize giveaway today. One person on Facebook and one person on Instagram is going to win themselves an amazing bag of stuff. And I mean amazing stuff. All you've got to do is comment on the post that you see on Instagram or on Facebook and one winner, one for our wonderful social team, is going to choose a winner. Now, listen, still get involved, still say hello to each other. We love it when you get involved with each other. Um, I'm going to give a quick tease what's in here. I'm not saying it's a good prize giveaway, but all I'm saying is there is a uh, Spectrum Noir Discovery kit in one of these bags. Uh, pens dies paper pads guys if you want a chance to win this just get involved instagram or facebook and two lucky winners one from each is going to win that today but first of all let's take a look i'll oh, get it got it good and what we deal we have here is the gemini complete 
plate collection. You've got everything here to take your crafting to the next level. You know how useful the plates are. You've got the clear cutting plates, you've got the shims, you've got the magnetic shims, rubbing, rubber embossing mat, a metal cutting plate, and that plate storage bag, which you see there. That is gonna be so useful for you if you are a serial crafter every single day. How good is that gonna be? You know how useful the plates are to you, and you guys are gonna use it every single day. Plus that wonderful carry case. A wonderful price for you, 40 pounds or 52 dollars. That can be yours today. But first of all, we're taking a look at the Lee Holland collection, a great collection, and something which I know you guys absolutely love, and I can understand why it is beautiful. You've seen some of the little demos. Let's take a closer look at what you're gonna be getting in this incredible pack. It is absolutely stunning as always. Let's take a look at the wonderful little sets you've got in here. It's their wonderful Lee Holland cute character stamp and die collection. There's over 101 elements here in this and it's an incredible price at £64.58. And look at that platinum price. Remember, if you're Club Inspire, you get 20% off if you're platinum status. Look at that incredible price, what you're getting for 101 elements, £51.20. Uh, $46.40. It's an incredible price. Have a look on the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu to have a look at these wonderful sets. But this is brilliant and the incredible bundle that you're getting. Lee Holland is a great designer and you can see why. Let's take a closer look at what you're getting within this bundle. Some great stamps and some great dies. The first one we're starting with here today is on your special day. You, you saw Jen talk about the lovely mice getting married. Well, here they are. What you're getting within the set, you're getting the stamps and you're getting the dies as well, and they work together. So you, these wonderful stamps that you see here, the dies go along with it to match. You haven't got to do any fussy cutting at all. We've done all the hard work for you like we always do. You're also getting in within here, birthday wishes. How cool is that? Again, these wonderful little characters, plus, that bunting and the balloon. How many times can you use this within your uh, card making or scrapbooking, whatever you're doing? Versatility. Then you've got family time. Again, a great selection of characters, whether they're for young people, whether they're for older people. There's so much within this. You're going to get a great um, variety of characters within your purchase. And spring has sprung. Again, with these wonderful characters are just beautiful. Plus, there's some great big stamps with here as well. I've never seen stamps as big as this. Look at this detail that you're getting in here. The first one is the village church for the wedding. Then you've also got the tree house. I love that. And last but not least, you've also got the flower boutique and you also get the woodland trail as well. It's a great collection and a great price and you can build some amazing scenes with these dies and stamps. Like we said, a lot of the hard work has been done for you and at that price, it's £64. $58. And you look at that platinum price. Remember, look, UK, you are going to be getting it for, it works out at less than 50 pence a item. And the same with you guys in America. Look at that cheaper price you're getting here in the States. A brilliant price and a brilliant collection. Jan, I absolutely adore this. I love anything like this. A lot of you guys know that I love my stamping and colouring. It's where I started out crafting. Yeah. And still to this day, I can't, actually, can't think of anything better of an evening than just sitting down in the chair with my lap tray and getting the pens out and doing a spot of colouring while I'm watching TV. Yeah. And that's normally, if I've got sort of things like this on the shows, I tend to do all the stamping during the day while it's sort of daylight and then I can sit and have a colour, uh, just, just relaxing. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, they're almost like a two-parter, this one. Yeah. Uh, there are four scenes, which we talked about earlier, and I'm going to use the village church for this one. Uh, so you can see there that we have got a decent size. We're looking at a four-by-six-inch plate there for the stamp. It's huge. To make you a background, basically. So you, can, you could just stamp this. If you don't want to colour, yeah. absolutely fine. You might want to sort of... Um, you know, put a little bit of ink on the on the card first. Just ink a little bit of blue, bit of green, a uh, bit of grey across the middle, and then stamp over the top of it. But I'm going to stamp it out blank, and then we're going to do a little bit of colouring, and then I'm going to bring in on your special day, which it. is all those gorgeous little characters, and I'll yeah. talk about those when we get to this set. Now, this one is an acrylic stamp. Well, I'm saying acrylic. It's photopolymer. Okay, and then the characters are photopolymer stamps with, you can see the metal work in here with the matching yeah. dies to go with them. So I'm going to work through it and show you how it all comes together. So I've actually brought my stamping platform in here 
so that we can get a nice sort of crisp image on there so I'm just going to pop some plain cardstock and because I'm working with my alcohol markers I've chosen a nice smooth surface card so if you buy an, if you buy an hour cardstock either the Nina mm -hmm. or the stamping card works beautifully for this yep. I tend not to stamp on watercolour card right. especially if I'm working with alcohol markers the watercolour card is quite um, it's, it's made to be absorbent for working with water yeah. obviously and your alcohol markers will just literally it'll just soak them up and you'll end up using much more ink so a nice smooth surface card stock and then I've actually made this bigger than I need it to be I always work on a piece of card that's bigger and then cut it down afterwards yes. so I'm going to pop that in the middle there pick it up with my stamping plate there and then we're just going to add some ink so again I've said this many many times now think about your cardstock that you're working on think about the ink that you're going to stamp with to get the best results then with your colouring so I'm going to work with our spectrum our finesse inks and I've gone for the alcohol proof dye we've put the alcohol marker on there to remind you that this is safe you want a, 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 a an ink that's going to stay put yeah so when I stamp out all this line art I don't want it to start bleeding into my colour when I start using the alcohol markers so yeah two things before you even get started Make sure you've got the right cardstock, make sure you've got the right ink, and then you're set up to actually get going with the colouring. Perfect. So I'm just going to tap the ink over this one, and I'm just using flagstone. Yep. I do prefer the greyer one to the black for when I'm colouring. I just find it's just that little tiny bit more subdued than the black, so it doesn't overtake uh, when I'm colouring. Yeah. So again, lots of pressure on here, just to make sure that all parts of that stamp have made contact with your card okay just make sure but the beauty of the magnetic base is that if you have missed a little bit yeah. you can actually go back and over stamp look it just that. look there absolutely perfect all right so I that was just that. one press down with the yeah. um the actual platform there so what we're going to do is take that one off yeah and then i've got a little bit more card that i want to just stamp out a couple of those characters to show you how the dies work if you haven't come across this system before yeah. so in the coordinating pack yeah. you get literally the most exquisite little characters so cute. and these you know yes they've been designed to work with a background stamp but sometimes when you're making a card you just want that something to finish it off these little characters are great for that yeah. you've got the little mouse bride and groom which is what i'm going to use here but there's some little foxes in there you've <laughs> got extra the little champagne glasses couple of sentiments in that one yeah and then you've got a stash of metal there that will cut out all these images for you so Perfect. i'm going to show you how that system works as well so we'll just stamp out these two little guys here um, because we're going to need those for our design to stand in front of the church yeah so let me just get rid of that one for a second I, the church die I don't think I've ever seen a die as big, uh, a stamp as big as that no I've not seen any stamps as that's one of the biggest stamps I've ever seen yeah I love it they come in all shapes and sizes the stamps and yeah. as I say having the platform like this or one of the larger even if you've not got the magnetic base yeah you know it means that you can do multiple stamping at once you Absolutely. can actually lay all your characters out and that's what I normally do just make sure that you leave enough space around them to then attach the die if you're going yes. to use the dies to cut them out so don't pop them too close together so again I'm going to ink those with the same ink pop them onto there and then again pressure on them just to make sure that ink's transferred and it soaks into the card there and they're just absolutely they're such cute little look at those they're so cute. absolutely love them so let's pop that to one side and then we're ready to start a little bit of colouring and a little bit of cutting. Now I'm going to show you the cutting first because yep. there's nothing worse than spending some time actually colouring and then cutting it out and making a you know faux pas with your die and chopping his, something off him. Yep. So I'm literally going to do the die cutting first for this one. So just checking out my, uh, my dies here. We've got one for the little groom and yep. we've got one there for the little female one there they're just so cute and again so cute. because we want them to stay in the place that i put them i'm just going to use a little bit of our low tack tape there yeah 
and the die, the cutting edge of the die, is sort of in the centre of yeah. where you see that metal edge. So what I tend to do is look at the inside edge of the die and line that up with the line art. You'll find that you should be able to see the whole of your image. Yeah. So I can see every little bit of that outline inside my die and then tack it into place. Have these guys got names? Have we named Have they these? Got na I haven't, no, maybe oh. we should. Who They're knows? just so cute. And then there's different characters um, yeah. on the other sets. There's little badgers. Uh, <laughs> they're absolutely beautiful. They're really fun. And as I say, sometimes I've used them just if I've wanted a little character to add yeah. to a, you know, a, a design just to sort you know, you, you look at it, it needs a little bit of something else. Yeah. And quite often it's a butterfly yeah. or it's a flower. But yeah, just at the side of your sentiment, pop one of these little guys in. And honestly, they're so cute. I love that we've got a badger. Badgers yeah. are underrated as an animal. Yeah. They absolutely. But I'm actually uh, going to bring my mini in because Ooh, okay. all these little dies just fit straight through yeah. your mini. So again, pop them both in there. We're just going to put them through the mini. Nice and simple. So again, you could do all this sat, you know, not necessarily at your craft desk. If yeah. you've got a lap tray to work on or anything like that, it's all doable in the comfort of your chair. And it still look, amazes me that the Gemini Mini can cut these. that out. It's so powerful. And you powerful. just get that lovely little edge yeah. around them. You know, if you prefer to fussy cut, there's no reason why you can't take your little snips and cut round them. But you know why, when you've got those dies there, yeah. they do such a perfect job. And what I find with the dies is it just bevels the edge of the die cut yeah. just a fraction and just gives that little bit more professional look there so we've got all our components at the ready make sure that you take your dies back off not be the first time that i've actually gone to throw my scrap card away and then later <laughs> thought oh heck my dies are still stuck to it so then i'm rummaging through the bin trying to find the bits <laughs> that i've thrown away so yeah i lost the pin out of my yeah, so I remember. It was in the bin. It was in the bin. It was in the bin, yeah. Fortunately, there wasn't much else in there, so I was able to find <laughs> it. But uh, So we'll pop those on there. We're going to do a little bit of colouring now. So we'll leave the characters up there. Yeah. Just pop some paper underneath. It doesn't matter what it is underneath there. Uh, I've actually got a piece of watercolour card just like to act like a blotter. And then I've actually brought my tri-blend pens with me. Now, we've got these in the boxer sets on the show today. Yeah. This is the essential set, and this is probably the one I go to most. It's got some really nice shades in there. And obviously, with those tri-blends, you've got that three-shade uh, blend in there. Yeah. So I'm just going to stick with the grey, I think, for the church. Yeah. And I've got one that I've already coloured in, so I'm not going to spend an age on this. Uh, but just to show you that little bit where you want to go with it. So take a section at a time. And I was here Friday doing the Colour Me Happy show, yeah. which was nice to actually spend some time uh, with the colouring because it's something I've always loved. So again, if you watch the members of the team, we all work slightly differently. I know when I'm watching Sarah, she tends to go in with the darkest shade first where she wants her shaded area. But I actually like to put the lightest colour in first and actually saturate that area so you've got plenty of alcohol down and makes it sort of wet yeah. in order for you to then come in and use the other colours. Now, the tri-blends consist of three shades of one colour. Yeah. So I'm going to flick from the lightest shade straight to the darkest shade and decide whereabouts you want that uh, shading to be. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop a little bit along the bottom here. I'm going to go around that little window, which would be causing a bit of shadow behind it. And don't worry too much if you're not sure where the shadow should be. You know, it's just have a go, have a go. And then I'm going to go back to that light one and just nudge the edge yeah. of that dark line. If I okay. go over the top of it, yeah. the light colour will start bleaching out the dark colour. Right. So what I want to do is almost make the edge of that dark line bleed. So just by touching it with the lighter colour, you're adding sufficient alcohol that this dark colour starts to bleed into the light one and you get that beautiful blend there as if yes. it's sort of meant to be rather than two separate colours there. And then just leave it for a little bit because that alcohol will evaporate and then you'll get a smoother finish. So again, I've done each section of the church. So we'll just do a little bit more on here and then I want to show you the little mice as well. Yeah. So I've just actually used two shades here. I've gone from the light one to the dark one. Because it's the sort of small areas, you can come in with the medium one as well. But I've just used the two here and I'm just going to do that little bit on the roof. And then for the... Um, 
The doorway will go with the brown. We'll have a wooden door there. So I've got an earth brown shade here and we're just going to fill this one again using that lightest shade first. Yeah. Just to fill in. And there's no special te technique with this, you know, just, just go for it. Fill the area in. And I just find this so relaxing. It, I love it, I colouring. Find whether it it's to images watch. or I've got added yeah. colouring books. I've even got some, you know, children's colouring books. Yeah. But uh, who's to say that you can't? Exactly. I know some of you will be asking as well in the comments, um, that wonderful carry case. That is the Tony Tiffany Sarah yeah. buddy bag. So it'll be available on the website, Tony Tiffany. I met her for the first time the other week. Yeah. What a lady she is. She's fab, isn't she? She is brilliant. I love so her. So much energy as well. So much yeah. energy. Um, if you are looking at that, head to the website. You'll just type in the, the Totally Tiffany and you'll see the full range of collection that Totally Tiffany has. That's the Sarah Buddy Bag. And can you ever guess who it's named after? Sarah, how did you, how did you guess that? How did you guess, hey? Uh, and remember, you've got that beautiful deal with the tri blends as well. So I've just taken some really bright colours now. So I've got some red, orange, yellow, green there. And just in the little windows on the sides here, I wanted to create the illusion that there's like a stained glass panel. Yeah. Because obviously the church windows often have the designs in. Now, even though these are just squares, basically, yeah. there's nothing to stop you sort of creating that illusion that there's some coloured glass in there. So no, I'm exactly. literally just taken some of those brighter colours and added some little bits in here. And it just gives that illusion that Love there's a bit that. of something going on in the windows there. So again, whatever colours you fancy, I've sort of stayed with reasonable, uh, reasonably sort of primary colours there. And again, you can add a little bit of greenery, um, you know, in the trees and things like that. So again, you know, it, just take your time with it. I always think, you know, I wish we had more time when we were doing yeah. these shows, but uh, it's all the same principle. So flooding that area, saturating the card, with that first shade, okay, and then adding a little bit of the darker bits in there. So wherever you want that shade, there's yeah. no right or wrong with this. You can just see it coming together. I love that. So what that. I'm going to do then is bring the one in that I spent quite a bit of time on oh, here. Oh, wow. And you can see where we've gone from starting it there, just taking yeah. a section at a time. And then, you know, I got a bit sort of lost in the fantasy and thought, why not a pink path? I was missing my pink. I was all greys and greens and I needed some pink. So yeah, nice pink path and the little mice are going to stand on there for the wedding. So that's the background. Yeah. And then I've done exactly the same. We've got these two little guys here. I've just taken the colours the same and I've literally done a bit of colouring on those as well. So you can just see we've got the little bride and groom there. And oh. she's gone for a lilac theme. She's got lilac flowers and she's he's got a lilac band on his hat. Uh, they're just so cute. So let's pop them together and give you an idea for a card uh, as well. So I've just taken a standard 7x5 card. Yep. Let me just move all those pens out of the way. And I've scored it in half and then scored the front in half again to make like a fold back card. So we're literally going to put some mats and layers in that I've just taken some, and I think this was from the uh, Everyday Celebrations pad again. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted something that fit the theme, and I wanted something, you know, sort of a little bit floral and a bit pink to pick out that path that we'd done. So we've got pink and navy going on here, and there's a plain paper pad that goes with this 8x8 eight eight patterned pad, and they're both uh, made to coordinate. Yeah. So those have both come from the same collection. And then I've made a narrower one to go on the front here, just using those, uh, those pads. So we're going to pop this one on as well. And then it's just a case of building up your scene however you want it. No, like I say, there's no right and wrong. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you're doing something wrong in crafting because it's all open to interpretation. We all do it slightly differently. It's always based, I think, around the recipient that you're making for. Yep. All right, so we're going to take that panel that we've made here for the church and lay that on the front of the opening part here so it opens like so. All right, so I just want to put some adhesive down this side here rather than all the way across. So just on that side to stick to that front panel there. And then I'm going to centre this so that I've got an equal border all the way around. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be my sort of beginning part and then what i did is i've taken a second piece yeah and this stamps in the set congratulations i've done the little champagne glasses and i want to pop this in the inside here so that when you open it there's a little bit of decoration nice. 
on the inside as well. So all using those stamp sets, you could stamp another one of those little characters on here as well. Uh, you know, however you want to uh, line them up really. So again, that one's going to go central so that when we close the card, it's not obvious that that one's there until you open it. And then we've got these gorgeous little mice. We're just going to pop these on the front. They're going to be standing on the path there, waiting to go into the church. Oh, whoops. So we're going to have the little girl there with her groom stood mm -hmm. next to her. I love the stained glass window. I think that's my favorite. Out of everything in that church, I just love that pop of colour yeah. in the grey with yeah, the stained glass. Yeah, it's just to give that illusion that yeah. there's a bit of something there. So he's going to be stood here as well. We'll not cover all the window up. And then again on that, uh, that stamp set, you've got two sentiments on there. So the congratulations was one of them. And then you've got on your special day. Yeah. So again, I've just stamped that out to make a little sentiment to go on the front. Popped it on some foam. We're going to pop this one at the top here. And then one of the last pieces I've got, again, all part of the stamp set. If you have a look on here again, there's a little set of bells here mm -hmm. for the wedding. Nice. So I've just stamped and coloured those. And we're just going to pop those under here for that special day. And you've got a really nice, simple design there. Yeah. But just hours of fun with the colouring. For me personally, this is what it's all about. Making the cards just comes extra. But I love that sitting and colouring. Yeah. And you've got the... Uh, the details inside there. If we turn it round, we can give you a look from the front on that little fold Perfect. back. Perfect. With the, uh, the, oh. the uh, congratulations inside. Just so much fun to work with. Absolutely, a great collection. And remember, it's the wonderful Lee Holland. There's a cute character stamp. You've seen how cute they are. It's a great collection. There's over 101 elements within this collection. £64, $58. There are other bundles available. If you're looking at it and going, oh, I like the stamp, I like that collection, I like the church, I like that. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com. .co.uk.eu. If you buy the little bundles, you'll be buying, you're saving yourself 30%. But if you buy this big bundle, you're going to save yourself a 35%. It's a great deal and you're getting so much value for money. A great collection. Plus as well, you saw Jan using them there, the Spectrum Noir pens, the Tri-Blends pens. If you're brand new to crafters, our Tri-Blends, I, I adore them and I... I love them. They are a great collection and something that is superb. We'll start first with the Essentials collection. Now, head to our YouTube channel. You'll find on there great shows all about colouring, our Colour Me Happy shows. You'll find so much on there about how to get the best out of our tri-blends. You're getting 24 pens. You see there, it says 24-piece collection Essentials. What you're actually getting is 72 individual pens. I call it 24 families of colours. You get the dark reds, the coral blend, but what you get within each family is the three different shades. You saw Jan using it there, you're getting the light shade, the medium shade, and the dark shade. They work together to create some beautiful blends. And you can see that full, such daisy, you see that full collection there on the essential, essential blends. At £67.99, $101.95, you're saving yourself 15% today, and you are gonna use these time and time again. You'll hear us going about them so much because they are so incredible. Then as well, we've also got the deep blends as well. Now, what you're getting within the deep blends are the darker shades. Now, like I said before, you've got the families of colours. You may have got a one, a four, and a six. What the deep blends does is it adds more colours within to that family. So, you're going to widen your family of colours. Within here, you're going to extend 12 families of colours. You'll extend them with dark, different darker shades. Plus, you're going to be introduced to 12 new families. So you're getting another 72 pens. $67.99, $101.95. Have a look on the website and look on YouTube at our brilliant Colour Me Happy show to see the true magic, as I say, with the Spectrum Noir tri-blends. Don't forget as well, we aren't live today. Sorry about that. But it does mean that we are giving away amazing prize giveaways. On Instagram and Facebook, you'll see a lovely picture. All you've got to do is comment on it. That's all you've got to do, and you've got a chance of winning one of our wonderful gift bags. One winner from Facebook, one winner from Instagram. Guys, there are so much within here. There are, I can't even, there's, there's so much. There's uh, the Spectrum Noir uh, acrylic paints in there. There's the sparkle pens. There is even 
Discovery kits. Guys, they are brilliant prizes to win. I'm just giving you a little sneak peek. Make sure you just come on the picture, but don't feel like you can't play along with a game because you know what Playcraft's right is. Every week, two, the presenter and the craft expert take it upon themselves to have a little game and see who will come out on top. This week, it's the rematch between me and Jan. Let's do it. It's time for a little bit of this. Here we are. It's the crafting conundrum. Guys, we are going to be playing, okay? This week we're not playing for Team YouTube or Team Facebook. We are playing for Pride this week. I lost last week. Jan won. All we've got to do, what, is it vegetable day, Erin? Producer Erin's in today. It is vegetable day, okay? Fruit and veggie day. What's your favourite fruit, Jan? My favourite fruit, probably strawberry. Love a strawberry. Can't go wrong with the strawberry. I like, mm. I like a Brussels sprout. Yep. Controversial. Yes, bit of, bit of black pepper. I'm on that team. Yep. Bit of black pepper, bit of butter. Ooh, yep. lovely. Uh, so, with all the conundrums, our wonderful vegetables and fruits, all we've got to do is work out what the letters are jumbled up to get what happens. There's ten to go, two rounds, five now, five in a little bit. You ready for this, Jim? Are we going to do it all in one round, are we, Erin? Well, Ooh, well I'll turn. shut up then, shall I? Look at the we did it all in one round. Ten fruit and vegetables. Right, here we go. Number one, trowel name. What fruit and veg is that? Remember, you can play along at home. Comment below, you know. I've got 20 seconds, okay? Right. Um, oh, yeah, got this. Got this. I think I have. I think. It doesn't help with Erin counting down in your ear, does it? All it needs is some dramatic music. You can't hear, she's like, three, two, one. Yep. Right, what have you gone for, Jam? I went for watermelon. I went for watermelon as well. Yep. Is the answer watermelon? Yep. It is a watermelon. Fantastic. Very good, very good. Right, here we go. Number two, what is the fruit and veg? Ooh. It's the Burley of Bees. <laughs> that sounds like a rugby team that should be here in the UK. Burley of Bees. Burley of Bees 3, Watermelons nil. Right. Ooh. Um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I've got this. I think. Right. <laughs> I can see Jan's answer. Right. What have you gone for, Jan? Well, I managed to make one word out of it, but then I was struggling for the rest of it, and I got as far as Brussels. I've put blueberries. Oh. What is the answer? Yeah, well Blueberries. Done. Oh dear. So no Brussels berries I've then. I've <laughs> Okay. I'm going to move my board if you can see what go. I'm doing. I don't I want to copy, right, copy my wrong answers. Right, if you don't that. get this, Oh, Jan. I've got this one. What you, I mean, if you don't get this at home. Can I ask a question, producer Erin? Ah, oh, some of the vegetables a bit later on, American spellings, if we've, I just want to, or the English spellings, because this could throw us completely out of, out of touch. Right, so remember, we are playing for Pride this week. What have you gone for, Jam? It's got to be a strawberry. It has to one, be a strawberry. It? A strawberry there. Of course it's a strawberry. Yep. What are the current scores? Oh. <laughs> it's two to Jan, it's three to me. Right, remember, Ooh. figure part. I think it's I nearly, someone wants to trick me out of there. If I get the two letters wrong way round at the start of them words, right. <laughs> Pick a, you know what I'm trying to say here. Oh. Yeah. Right, well, oh, this is, this is hard. Okay, um. <laughs> okay, in 10 seconds. Oh. 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 Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, Erin. Oh. Right, hang on oh, a minute, oh, figure oh, part. I think of a... Um, uh, you don't help the counting down. Right, um. No. I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm lost on, on this one. I haven't got an answer. I've got a pass I've, on that one. I was trying to I've think passed. of a... What is it? Uh, Grapefruit. You see, that fooled me now because there yeah. was a bit of a pattern going with fruit, vegetable fruit. I thought that might be a veg. veg. No, grapefruit. It's fooled me because it was another fruit. That was. Grapefruit. Right. Three, right. two to me. Let's go with number five. Right. I've got oh. this one. He's... Yeah. That is... Um, it, I'm, Nicola's in today and she just went, oh, you're very good at anagrams. I'm not. It, it's why I know the theme, like Countdown, which we've got here in the UK, which is our words and maths game. I'm rubbish at that. I'm rubbish. Uh -huh. I'm good at like putting letters. Numbers, I'm better at numbers than in words. Right. 
Have you got an answer, Jan? I have got an answer. I've this got an answer time. as well. What are you going Quite for? Quite confident on a pineapple. For I'm that confident one. on pineapple on that one. Yep. It Excellent. is, of course, pineapple. Right, remember, this week we aren't live. We are playing for Team YouTube and Team Facebook. But remember that. It is that wonderful prize giveaway. But we are playing for pride this week. It is currently 4-3 to me. There's five more questions. Oh, Here we go. Right. Feeling the pressure. I am. Feeling the pressure. Banerjee. They Banerjee. sound like a really bad tribute to the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome the oh, Banerjees. <laughs> well, you can tell by the way. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, I can't concentrate. Um, <laughs> um, oh, what is... I, I feel like if I tilt my head, it'll come to me, but it won't. Um, uh, Banerjee. Uh, oh, I'm struggling again I'm on struggling that one. with What's this that one. one? Um, it'd be really simple. I bet you guys are getting this straight away at home. No answer on this one, Jan. I've got no I'm answer. Something range, no? I'm, I'm struggling I'm on that one. I'm passing on this I'm one. I'm going to have to pass on that one again, look. What are we going for? What is the answer? Green bean. Uh, Cauliflower is fluffy mm. and cabbage is green. green. Great song. Strawberry That's what we were singing. Pri yeah. Than any Primary seen. schools <laughs> sing alongs at school. Great. Uh, right. Horrid ashes. Horrid ashes. <laughs> it's a bit deep. Oh my days. Bit deep this time of day, isn't it? Right. <laughs> um, horrid ashes. Remember, oh. it's fruit and veg. Oh, a fruit got it. Or a veg. I think I don't know if I spelt it right. Oh, Hang on. no, that's not. I've got enough letters. Yeah, yeah, I've got. It's got to be, yeah. Right, what's your answer? I mine's not right. I've not used all the letters. I put radishes. I put horse radishes. It's got to be. Is horse it horse radishes? Horse radish. Yeah, you put plural. There's too many there. Oh. What? I don't get the point. I don't get the point. Nilpwa. Nilpwa. Are you joking me? I don't get the point. No, there was only one horseradish, not multiple. Right, I will come. Right. What? I will come into that gallery. Do I not get a point for that? No. No, it wasn't right. It was incorrect. We didn't have many horseradishes. We just had one. <laughs> you won't get this on HSN, would you? Right, go on. How many's left now? Oh, if I don't um, win now because of this, if I lose by one point, Erin, don't. Right. Mink pop, right. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. This is number eight, right. Got it, got it, got it. I've got this one as well. Yeah. And I've not put plural. No, right, there's no S's. Start on it. I've put pumpkin. I put pumpkin. Not pumpkins, not yeah. pumpkin, whatever the plural is for it. Right, <sighs> two more left. Number nine, here we go. Remember, it's not live this week. Uh, we are playing mainly for pride. And if my pride gets beaten, I can't lose another. I've not won a play you crashed right yet. And it rips pan. Hang on a minute, because now you've been right. Yep. No, I'm not going to put the plural because there's only one S. So I love it. These are one of my oh, favourites. Got it, though. got it, got it, got it, got it. These are one of my favourites. These are one of my favourite veg. Yeah. yeah, especially on a roast lunch. Ooh, you can't go wrong there. Yeah. Right. I've put parsnip. I've put parsnip. Not parsnips, because I've just checked one. the S's. Yeah. Right. Just one. one oh, he's going to win me. He's going to win me. Right. Oh, no, no, if no, I no. lose, if we right, if, listen, oh. this is it. There's one question. Oh, left. that's what? got to be what I thought it was earlier. I've got it. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, it's got to be. How right. many S's? This is the last one. This is it. Yeah, that's it. Just yeah. Playing for pride this week. There, aren't we? Oh. Right. What have we gone for? I've gone for just one Brussels sprout. I have gone for one singular Brussels sprout. <laughs> If I've spelt Brussels wrong, I'm sorry. Right. So, so no, no, Erin. No, don't give me this, Erin. If you spell it wrong, you get it wrong. No, no, you don't, right? That's not how it works, of okay? Because you you've not used the letters if you spelled it. Maybe. It now, well, I spelt it right. He's rubbed it off so we couldn't see. I spelt it right. That was Crafting Conundrum. Oh. So, the question is, who won? Was it me? You what was the did? score? Is that your first win? Seven to Excellent. six. Well done. I finally Round won. Applause, Can George. you believe it? It's the first week I've won and we ain't live. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, everyone always switches. When I'm playing, playing Crash Right, everyone switches from Facebook to YouTube so they've got a chance of winning. <laughs> What can I say? But remember, we aren't live, but we're still giving you that prize giveaway. All you've got to do on Instagram and on Facebook, head to the website, head to the Facebook or Instagram pages. You'll see a wonderful picture. 
common tonight and you've got a chance of winning that's our prize giveaway today um there's all sorts in here. There are embossing folders, dies, paper pads, discovery kits. Guys, if you want a chance of winning, head to Facebook or Instagram. There's been one winner from Facebook and one winner from Instagram. Remember, we've got a full day here on Crafters TV. Loads coming up for you today. We've got a craft along with Craig. I'm gonna be joining Craig. It's the everyday creator dies. Let me get them for you. They are absolute, oh, I don't have it. Oh, it's on the still. There we are. It's over there. There we are. Very good. Can you tell, can you tell I am so organised at times? It is the wonderful, um, the it's wonderful craft along. I'm going to join experience. Craig. It is very early today. <laughs> uh, I'm going to join Craig for this at 3 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. East Coast time. Uh, this is what you're going to be needed. It's the crater dies, the butterfly wishes, forever yours, shine bright, raise your glasses, love birds, save the date, and also for this incredible price, you are getting the dye brush and the dye brush tool and the foam pad. It's a great deal. $97.99, $118.95. If you buy that entire bundle today, you're gonna to be saving yourself here in the UK and over in Europe, over 20% and the USA, 20%. So it's a great deal, a great collection. Oh, we'll be demonstrating that a little bit later on. And don't forget, if you wanna join us for our craft long, but you don't have what you need, don't worry, our craft longs are still available on YouTube. So once you've ordered everything and it eventually arrives to you, you can come and see it. But make sure you check the socials to find out what you need. That's going to be at 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. across the coast. Um, we've also got next the wonderful mixed cardstock pad. Let me show you this wonderful cardstock collection. It's a brilliant cardstock. There are, look at this. I just love the paper and the card that we do here. It's a great collection. 250 GSM, all right? We have starting first with a wonderful silver, okay? A sparkling shil silver? Silver? Silver me shimbers. Silver you sound it's a, a 12 like by 12. Mr. 12. Mr. 007 then, a bit of silver. I'm checking off start. Uh, 12 by 12, the mixed cardstock paper pad, sparkling sheets with 24 sheets. It's 250 GSM. Right, I've been practicing, right? I've still done it wrong. I've, come to I've been trying to practice flicking. Uh, it starts here, so you can see there, this beautiful silver. And there you are at the back. There you are, and there, look at that shine, oh right? And God. then at the front, look at the glitter. Look at the glitter. Oh. It's so beautiful. That is the sparkling silver. The then you've I've also got, these. have you seen the first time you've seen it? Yeah, they are. Oh, God. oh my fingers are itching over here. Now, what, how many paper, <laughs> you've got too many paper pads in your house, I remember you telling me. Uh, and then we've look, got the wonderful oh rose goodness. gold. This is gorgeous. They look at that. Beautiful. So you're getting 12 sheets of the uh, matte colour. I say matte. There's a great shimmer. I'm not doing it justice at all, but look at that shimmer that you're getting. Like Plus as well, you're it? getting 12 sheets of the glitter at the front look of that rose that. gold. I, you should see Jan's face. She's oh. getting Get excited at that. It they is are beautiful. stunning, isn't it? And it's stunning price. 250 GSM. 12 sheets of each. 24, 12 by 12. And glittering gold as well. We love, love this. Again, you've got that beautiful shimmer that you can see there in the glitter gold. It is gorgeous as always. Plus as well, you've got that incredible gold glitter as well. Look at that. $19.99, $22.95. A great addition into your collection. Plus as well, that wonderful platinum price as well. $19.99, $12.95. Add that in your basket today. Then as well, we've also got coming on at Craft House later on tonight, 7 p.m. UK time. You've got 2 p.m. East Coast time. It's the Vintage Diary Collection. Again, another brilliant collection here. There is so much within this bundle. You've got metal charms, embossing folders. You've got the wonderful five by seven embossing folder at Dear Diary. You've got metal dies. You've also got a wonderful 12 by 12 uh, luxury pearl pad and a six by six rub on transverse. So many different dies, including the antique frame and that pocket watch, a gorgeous collection. Plus you've also got a wonderful vellum pad in there, 12 by 12, and as always, the Fisher's favourite, the wax seal kit is in there as well. <laughs> so I, it's, I met Jan, I worked with Jan for the first time, the, uh, not Jan, sorry, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Fisher, worked with her the first time the other day. My God, what a laugh we had. <laughs> uh, that is the Vintage Diary Collection, £87 and five pence, $119.3. Sense. You are saving yourself 45% if you are buying that bundle today. Look at that platinum price. I, I keep going about the platinum price because remember, your Clue Inspire, your platinum status, you get 20% off everything. Not just random little bits here and there, everything. 20% off on the platinum price. It's a great deal. Look at that, 
$95.22 plus as well also on craft house today the watercolor collection again we love the sara signature sara signature collections are just the best and you know that every single time when you see sara signature collection you know what you're getting great quality products and a great design there's so much within this including that chunky glitter we love chunky glitter you're getting the, uh, the brush sentiments you're getting the snow globe plus you're getting 12 by 12 pads in here you're also getting um more acetate that great acetate in there which is stunning as always you've got great stamps you've got more paper pads you've also got aqua markers coming within this set as well and the biggest so, pack of full snow i've ever seen i know the smallest pack of full snow the biggest pack oh it's the biggest it's pack the as big, well big, it's like an a4 pack of full snow it's beautiful that's i mean that always sells out in itself as well the full snow guys if you want that bundle today 135 pounds 72 175 dollars uh guys if you are getting that you're getting a great saving on that it is so Good. and look at that club inspire platinum price as well it's incredible now you may hear me talking about club inspire and going actually george what is club inspire let sarah tell you a little bit more about it welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Hello, welcome back to Play Crafts right here on Crafters TV. Happy Saturday wherever you may be in the world. My name is George Aiken. It's a pleasure to have you. And now in the winner's circle. Who's the winner? I'm the winner. First time ever. Uh, now remember, we aren't live today. However, we are still giving you an amazing prize giveaway. Head to Facebook and Instagram and you've got a chance of winning some amazing goodies. There's two brilliant prize bags here. All you've got to do is comment and get involved. But we've still got amazing deals for you throughout the show. What, I like this. The Big Scene Creator Collection. Let me show you it, guys. Stunning as always with first of all starting with the moon and stars it's so delicate and so intricate look at just look at the detail that is coming from this die now I know you look at this and going 
Well, actually, a minute. Uh, that would be so hard to, to... That die will not do that. It will, I promise you. One pass through your Gemini, and you're getting this great card that you see here. It reminds me of the, the company DreamWorks and the little guy fishing on the S. If you know what you've seen it, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> then, as well, you've got the Rustic Roses. Wow. Do you know sometimes, these when they do the boards like this with the black and white, I think they look so elegant and so simple and I would look at that and go that's a brilliant card just like that but I know that you guys will do so much more with it and make it look so different that is why you've got the church blessings again look at this it's so good and so elegant and remember these dies have been designed for full support so you see this here you're thinking well that'd be quite flimsy no 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 the way the dies have been designed is to make it structurally sound it is incredible it's magic I love that word magic and take a flight as well. Just, again, imagine someone's moving house or they're moving somewhere, you know, another country. How good that would be for them to receive. Again, it's £42, $49 for some amazing large dies as well. We don't see that quite often, the big dies. That is brilliant. £42, $49 and that incredible platinum price as well. Jan, I've, this is my first time seeing these dies and I think they're so just unique in what they are. They are. The creator card range in general has been, you know, sort of produced specifically to do that job. You don't need much more than that design on the front of your card. Maybe a sentiment, maybe an odd ribbon here and there, maybe some adhesive gems. But the actual design itself is sufficient to actually give you the detail that you need. So I chose Moon and Stars. It had to be. I just love this design. It's beautiful. And it's all but five inches square, yeah. the metal work that you get. So it's a decent size piece of metal there. So what I've done is I've taken it out of the packet and it comes to you in two pieces. So we're actually going to use the main die, which is the creator card section. Yep. But if you come and have a little look at this, there is no solid cutting edge around the outside of the metal yeah. here. So it cuts into your design. And then all these lovely pieces, there are some embossing pieces where there's just the Brilliant. open work here. And then all this cuts out that gorgeous detail. Yeah. If for any reason you wanted to make it a topper, we give you the square matting oh, and layering awesome. die as well. So if you cut both of these together, yeah. it's actually going to cut you that square out that's all but five inches square to then put onto your yeah. card. Now I'm actually going to cut it into my card. So I don't don't need the uh, the extra square and we're going to make a, a gift box with this one Perfect. so i've taken a piece of mirror card gorgeous and we've got sort of the silver mirror card going on there and i'm literally going to fasten this onto here with some low tack tape yeah and we're going to pass it through the machine it's as simple as that that's there's no 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 sort of fancy hidden meanings with it no. it's just literally the machine does all the work so we're just going to center that in the middle there and then I'm going to tape it inside here where I know these pieces are going to be the waste. Yeah. So that there's no sort of sticky residue left on any of my um, Miri card. And then I've taken the Gemini Junior plates because this is, you know, there's ample room on those plates Absolutely. to actually put this one on. All right. And I've got the normal cutting sandwich. So I've got a plastic shim, a magnetic shim and my top cutting plate. And I'm going to pass these straight through the Gemini. And the pressure of that is just going to cut out all those pieces. I haven't even put the metal shim in because I think there's enough pressure there to actually work through this one. Uh, we'll soon find out. So let's just have a look there. Absolutely beautiful. If you look at that there, you can see yeah. all that design. And if it looks as if somebody's drawn on the back of there, you know that those pressure points have done the trick and they've pushed, pushed the metal through yeah. the cardstock. So we can take that away. And then I'm literally going to remove the tape now. And I'm not too worried about where it's uh, stuck to this time because, as I say, this is actually one of the waste pieces here. Yeah. So just to take this away... And then we'll get rid of all the little pieces inside, just nice and gentle. Make sure that you're not snagging anything. Oh, wow. And if I move all this now, just look. Little that tiny piece in there, but I think all the rest of them have come out. So if I just grab that uh, <laughs> mat again there, absolutely. Perfect. You don't need to do much more no. than that, honestly. You know, now then behind here, you could do a beautiful, what about a nice um, wash background with the yeah. sparkle inks or something like that? You could mask out a moon behind it, although this is intended to be the moon. This could just be the shape of the die and have another one inside. You could do it with your inks, things like that. I'm actually just going to sit it onto some t on top of some glitter card because yeah. I want the glitter to show through here. 
all right but I'm going to make this into a shaker element in the top so I'm just going to get rid of a few of those bits out of there pop that one back get rid of all the rubbish let's just put all that into my dustbin there and then what I've done is I have prepped a little bit of head of time for you. So I've taken a piece here that measures eight inches square. Yeah. So straight from our matte black cardstock, and I've scored it at one inch, literally, on each side, all the way around. And this is going to be my box lid. Yeah. And then I've just used some of the scraps of the glitter card that I had left to line the outsides of it. And then what I want to do is pop the matte layer on here, like so, and then we're going to build up the shaker element so on top. Good. So let's get this one stuck down first yep. and just pop this one straight onto the actual box lid itself. And I prefer to do all this while the box is still flat and then just stick the corners together when I've finished. So I've got a nice border all the way around here. And then I have jumped ahead slightly yeah. and I've actually got one ready with all my tape on and Perfect. everything and what I've done is I've popped some acetate you can just see there where it's catching yeah. the light obviously to catch any bits that may fall through and then on the back here I've just if you can just see that over here let me put it over oh, the white yes. I've just used my alcohol marker here just on the wings to add a little bit of color on the reverse yeah so that it just shows through That's there just gorgeous. that touch of color in there yeah. so literally we're gonna hope that the um, you know me and the tape, George. Oh. Let's just hope that we're, uh, we're on a good morning. I'll be keeping everything crossed for you. Keep it all crossed. Oh. We need to take the shaker tape away. Yeah. So this is just our foam on a roll. All right, which if our Ben was here, he'd be singing right foam now. Foam on a roll. He I bet everyone would. sings it. He's very I've... catchy. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to put, I've made a shaker mix that's got some silver in. It's got yeah. some iridescent and a nice. little bit of the lilac to pick out those wings. Oh, look at that. Now then. I always used to start off and put my shaker pieces in here and I've said this many times now that trying to straighten this up and get it right is yeah. not easy. So what I'm going to do is put the shaker pieces onto uh, here and I've literally just mixed together some silver pieces, some lilac pieces, Gorgeous. some little iridescent stars and we're just going to pop some of that straight into the centre of that design there. I'm going to put plenty in because it's quite a large area that we're filling this time. And I did well there that the fan didn't actually... I was very in. impressed. I was waiting. Yeah, for usually it. they all end up going everywhere because the fans... Uh, but it's on the floor today, so it's not managed yeah. to get hold of them today. Like Elsa. And then literally, we're going to pop this over the top. So just make sure all your pieces are nicely in the centre. And then because we're going on to glitter card, I'm going to take my tacky glue, yep. which is the, um, the large bottle decanted into the little fine tip applicator there. And what happens is, is the wet glue seeps into the glitter and it just gives you a slightly stronger bond. So bear yep. in mind, this is going to be full of shaker pieces. The last thing I want is for this to come unstuck in any of the corners yep. and all those pieces fly out. So just a little bit of wet glue on top of the tape gives you that extra sort of insurance and this is going to literally stick to the glitter card and soak into those grains on the glitter so again it also gives you time to just wriggle it into place make sure it's all set there and i'm not going to shake it about too much until i'm happy that it's all set we'll take the uh, the pieces off the edge here so i've just used some tape Yep. for speed but you can use your tape pens i know some people like to use wet glue mm -hmm. and just peg the little corners until they've dried whatever works honestly there's several different ways to do the boxes you've seen you know all the team do them slightly different but i'm just making those right angles with the edges there just to finish that lid off and then i've just stamped out had a little look through my uh, stash and see all those lovely shaker pieces that. in there had a look through the stash and found one that says make a wish which i think was perfect for that particular design yeah so again i'm just going to put that just a small one i didn't want to cover up too much of the uh, the design there we'll pop that in the corner and then i actually just stuck the base together same bases i've just used white card for the bottom there yeah. stuck all the corners together and then when we pop that one on top you've got a lovely gift box there with all those gorgeous twinkly shaker so pieces cute. but just showcasing that beautiful die there absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning. Yeah. that's that wonderful big scene credit card pack at that price that you're saving yourself 
35%, a great collection. Then, you know, at the minute, the current theme, it's Staycation, of course it's Staycation, uh, and the wonderful Staycation collection. There's over 163 elements, and today, a 12 by 12 paper pad. Let's take a look at that price. I've just seen the price. Wow, how cheap is that? Let's take a closer look at this wonderful collection. It's the wonderful stamps that we're starting with first. Uh, we'll look, oh, having a look at them here. The Happy Camper, a great collection. You've got them here. You see the wonderful stamps. You've got the tents, the guitar, the little fire, the Dixie, everything there, plus these wonderful little sentiments at the top. You've got Happy Camper, Gone Fishing, Not All Who Wander Are Lost, Life Is Better When You're Camping. A great collection, uh, you know, we always say men cards are harder to design sometimes, and there's some great elements that we use for any gender, but you know, sometimes for the men, a lot of men go fishing, again, be perfect little addition. Then you've got the Simple Life, again, another wonderful collection, so many different little things, the caravan, the little chair, the bike, the barbecue, the little sunshine, how many times could you use these and these great sentiments. Plus, I love this, this little background here with the trees and the bushes. Again, a brilliant little idea. Then you've got the road trip. Wow, this is stunning. Again, the stamps that you're seeing here are just incredible. I love the flamingo. That is perfect. Flamingo just screams out to me on this one. Uh, again, with the wonderful sentiments and the life's a beach. Um, Again, the ice cream van, how cute is that? That is stunning with the little ice creams. And how many times could you use these? And plus you do see there's 163 elements there, plus a 12 by 12 paper pad. I mean, you know our paper pads, they are getting good. I'm getting good at this now, I'm getting good at the flicking. Uh, so many different ideas in here. Just the love arts there on the yellow. How cool is that? Um, Again, you get a couple of design, a couple of sheets of each design here. But again, that with the night sky and the sunset, so pretty. And the wonderful blues, underwater theme, if you're doing that, the greens. They, oh, look at that. It's I love gorgeous. that one. That that's is one gorgeous. of my favourites, that. I'm not surprised. And that, that just yeah. reminds me of beaches, doesn't it? Yeah. Then the, the greens, books. so, oh, that again. There's so much you can do with this wonderful paper pad. It's worth it alone for the paper pad. And uh, this is the incredible paper pad. It is the wonderful home away from home paper pad. 12 by 12, 180 GSM, 12 by 12, 48 sheets. That is that incredible price, $29.98, $35.90. Saving yourself 60%. Can you believe it? What an incredible, more than half price. And that platinum price as well, Club Inspire. So you're getting the half price, you're getting 60% off, and then you're getting that extra 20% off on platinum price. You're getting 80% off today at that wonderful price, $23.98, $28.72, which is what a ridiculous price that I is know, for what you're honestly, getting. It is. And again, you know, as I say, they know that I love my stamping. So when we get onto the shows, it's like stamps and colouring, stamps and colouring. Yeah. And then the odd stencil thrown in, which are coming up later. So yeah, that's me sort of sorted. Um, but yeah, again, a great one for mixing and matching. If you've got the bundle, a lot of these work together as well. So you can mix and match across the stamp sets. Uh, I chose Happy Camper and you've got that. They're just absolutely crammed. Every single bit of that is just crammed with, with you know, with yeah. stamps on there. So again, beautiful sort of scene setting stamp here in the bottom. And then you've got all the little extra pieces. You've got the little log fire, you've got the rucksack here. There's a map on it. You've got, I love the little sign, guitar, anything, you know, little lantern. You've got the walking boots and the fishing. So many different ways of working with it. And then again, not every single one, I think. Uh, I think the majority of them have got a die that cuts them out there, but obviously the sentiments you would need to just sort of cut your own shape with. Yeah. You have got a really nice little speech bubble there that the gone fishing will fit in. So again, you know, you sort of lots of different options with it. So I've got some of this part prepped today. So I took the um, little tent. So you can see here, we've got that lovely tent design and I've stamped that one out and started colouring there with the trees, the mountains in the background, the tent. Yeah. And then I've used this little set of trees here, which is smaller, to just push into the background as if they look further away on the hilltop there. And then you've even got the little cloud in there. You can see where I've actually done some of those as well. And then I've also stamped out and coloured ready that gorgeous little sign at the top nice. here. And then also the little log fire. And I'm going to use the dies to cut these again to show you how those work. So we'll pop the stamp set to one side. I've just got a little bit of colour in there to finish off, which uh, is pretty straightforward. So we just need, um, just going to find my green that I was using. There we go. I think it's that one. Let me check. That's the grass. No, we want the light green jam, that one. So again, I've just gone nice and simple. 
just to add detail into here. Yep. I didn't want to leave too much because obviously the colouring does take a wee bit of time. And it's better if you can spend, you know, some time relaxed doing this part of it. So I just left that little bit left to finish off. And, and again, as piece... much or as little as you want to well, colour. You, I was just going to ask, the piece of paper, what's the piece of paper underneath the uh, colouring for? Right, good question, George, absolutely. So when we're using our alcohol markers, you will notice that the pen bleeds through the card there. So it's meant to do that. So yeah. a nice smooth stamping card there, but you will always get that bleed on the back. Now, if this becomes so wet, if you've done a lot of shading and it becomes so wet that it hits the surface yeah. underneath, if it's on your glass craft mat, which is non-porous, the only place for that ink to go is for your card to start and reabsorb it. And then you'll find sometimes that it starts bleeding outside your line art because obviously it's not going to pop back up and be nice and sit where it should be. It could be anywhere on mm. your um, your design you know so it's going to start bleeding back through so just by popping any paper underneath so I you know last time I was using watercolor I've just grabbed, grabbed a, a piece of spare Nina there as long as there's something any saturated color will actually catch on the paper then and you've not got to worry about it yeah. so it's always better it's a bit like when you used to work with pen and ink and you had a blotter mm -hmm. for the same reason because if the ink goes through the page you've literally got something to catch it yeah. on. So I'm not going to do a lot of shading on these. I've just got a little bit there with the darker colour. And then I'm just going to nudge that line just to actually pop it into place. So what I wanted to do then, I'll finish the grass off afterwards because I want to mount this onto just some Centura Pearl that I've got there, which yep. is actually... Um, the Pacific colour, which is one of my favourites there. And we're going to go for the base card. We're going to go with craft card. So I thought with that camping theme, the green mm -hmm. and brown for the craft card was perfect for, uh, for that design. So that's going to be my main sort of image. Yeah. And then I just want to get the dies for that little sign, which is gorgeous. It says eat, sleep and camp. And then we've got the little log fire there as well. So... Uh, I've got some tape. Well, I will not recycle because I've stuck it together. We'll just use a little bit of tape to keep them in place. And then I just need to pop that card together for you. So again, yeah. same principle. Line it up so that you can see pretty much all your line art through that little die. Yeah. And then tape it into place. And again, same with the fire. I'm just looking straight over the top of it and I can see pretty much everywhere I've stamped and then pop it in there. Yeah. And again, these are all nice and small. They're all gonna fit through that mini. So we'll pop this one in here. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing sticking out of the edge there because we don't want it to get tangled. Nope. Pass it through the machine. And then it's just a case of popping our card together for you. So a little bit of matting and layering. And you can see here that these work beautifully. So we've got the little campfire there. Yep. And then we've got that. I love the little sign. Okay. Gorgeous. Fantastic. So we've got everything we need there ready. Now the card blank this time, slightly different. I'm going to work. I've got that same theme where we've taken a five and three quarter inch card and folded it back. But I'm actually going to turn it this way so that my fold is at the front here. Yep. All right. I've got a mat and layer to go on that front panel there. And again, this is actually the... Um, pistachio Ooh. centura pill so i've used a couple of shades of green here just to yep. uh and again i was talking about this when i was here last week about using up the scraps so i've been through the green scrap <laughs> pile found a little bit of dotty paper because i didn't want to uh, detract from it too much and then i've made like a second card almost yeah so this one measures nine inches by five and a quarter and I've scored it at, let me just double check there, four inches. So it's slightly offset. Yep. I've got a less at the front and more at the back. And I've made another mat and layer to go in here. So we've got Not All Who Wander Are Lost, which is from the stamp set. So other little butterflies. We're going to mat and layer inside that one. And then this is going to stick to the other card. I'll show you what I mean. So this is actually your greeting that goes inside there yeah and that's where you can write your message okay and then on the back of here i'm going to pop some more tape and again if i was at home i'd probably use the wet glue to get a nice bond on this yeah but just for speed here now my 
Do you know, me and tape pens are notorious for running out. <laughs> it's a good job I have a stash downstairs, isn't it? It is. So I want this to open this way yeah. and this one at the front. And I'm literally going to centre this one now inside here. Okay. And then my little mat is going to go on the front there. So last little bit of sticking together. And then in order for this to actually make a, a closure, yep. I've just stamped another sentiment. So that one's going to mat on there. All right. And what happens is, is that bit opens, this bit closes, this bit comes over the top. And just to keep it in place, yeah. I've used that happy camper. Gorgeous. I've got a little bit of tape on the back there. I'm just on the bottom half of this so that that piece will tuck nicely in behind there. So yeah. this one actually comes in and out. Whoops. And just see how it tucks in behind. It's like a tent itself, isn't it? It is. And then last of all, I'm just going to pop those two little pieces on the front there, just as extra uh, design there. So we're going to have one of them. Whoops. And again, I'm just going to lift this out until we... Uh, get them in the right place one there and the campfire just as a suggestion yeah. that we're off camping and we've got that lovely little log fire we've got our uh, little uh, sign there telling us where to go and again this one just took so I've, i just need that one keeps popping because i've only used the, the dotty tape pen yeah so that one pops in here to actually close and it will stand like so there Absolutely and then to open it stunning. up you just lift it out from behind you've got your message inside there yeah. to write on and just again a bit of fun working with those stamps okay perfect what a great collection and remember 60 percent off on that price today it's a brilliant deal i absolutely love it right abc easy as one two three yes we're going to look at the alphabet we've got the dies in on a buy one, get one free deal. Bog off, as I would like to say in the UK. Buy one, you get one free. It's the stamp and die, make a statement. Now, can you believe it? There's 26 dies to choose from here because there's 26 letters of the alphabet. But within each set, you're going to get not just um, an, a die, but you're going to get the stamps as well. And they range from, you know, how many you get within a set. But let me take a look at the A that you see here. What you get within it is you get the wonderful, amazing. So you'll see it here, it says amazing. So what you'll get is a stamp that says amazing, not the A at the front, and you also get have and day as well. Plus, you get the die and the stamp for the A as well. So you're able to create something. Maybe you just want the letter by itself. Or alternatively, you may want to make something very similar to this. They are a great collection. £5.99 each or $7.95. Or, but remember, buy one, get one free. And that platinum price, what a great deal. Going to quickly rattle through the letters. There we've got A. B. C. D. <laughs> it's not going faster than I thought. <laughs> e. <laughs> F. G. And you see what I mean? The goal is to get the G and gorgeous. Uh, H. I. J. K. <laughs> L. Key change. Then, remember the M. You'll get this what you get in the pack. You'll get the M plus the two, the best. M and OM. Um. Uh, remember, you buy the M, you might get a friend called... Tom, get the T, you got a Tom then. Um, <laughs> but you get the stamp and the die as well. So we'll go for the other half, you've got the M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z, 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 and as well, a little bundle one here, the and as well. And what is, what's his name this? Is ampersand. Andersand. Ampers. A ampersand. Ampersand. Yeah. Every day is a school day here at Crafters TV. That is in the collection as well. So it's 27. I lied to you. What am I like? But buy one, get one free at that incredible price and let you make something amazing. £5.99, $7.95. Jan, what have you gone for? Which letter are you thinking? I've gone for H for happy. Right. Because we're all happy here we at are. Crafters TV, aren't we? So yeah, we're going to have happy, but I'm going to use new home with it. Yeah. So we've got... Um, 
um, the stamp set there. So like George says, you can make happy, happy birthday, happy anniversary, happy new home. You might just want to use the H. It might be the initial of a loved one or a friend. You know, there's so many different ways. And the idea behind this is that you have the solid outline of the, the stamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this out. Now, I've just been having a search downstairs and I couldn't find my red ink pad. So I'm going to do it in orange for you. Yeah. But I have actually got one that I've done with the, the red behind it. So I'm just literally going to pop this and I'm just going to pop a few little dots on here because I want this to stay in place. And the dots, are, you can actually rub them back off the back there. And then line that block silhouette stamp up literally catch it on the plate and then i've got some orange yeah just a color and now this can be done in any color now you've got options with this you can actually put the colored piece under underneath it or when we come to do the dye you might just want to cut it out of some colored paper and then stick it onto something else so there's different ways of doing this so I'm going to pop a couple of layers down because it's actually a water reactive ink that I've managed to find underneath here. And really, you'd be better with the quick dry for this. Yeah. You'll get a much more solid image with it. Yeah. But I just wanted to show you the idea there. Because it's a thick stamp, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we've got that stamped out. I'm going to lift that back off there now with the, uh, the dots, which are just holding it in place. And then we get the metal work that goes with it. And this is exactly the same size as the letter that we've just Perfect. done. So this allows you to see the colour through the back. So I've got a piece of black card and we're going to pop that through the mini again. These all fit through the little mini. So they're great, you know, if you're wanting to work with the kiddies and things like that. I always think any of our machines that haven't got electronic parts, you've not got to worry about the kiddies pushing the fingers in there or anything like yeah. that. But we're going to pop this through here. Now, I've actually got my card blank made at the ready because I know time's ticking away as it does. I can't believe it. All right. It's just gone so fast. It has as well. But when we take this one out of here now and just get rid of all the little pieces. Yeah. If I just poke that one through with the release hole there, you've got the most gorgeous filigree lettering. Oh, wow. That is designed. So let's just get rid of all those bits there. Yeah. And you can just see, if I pop it you on the back of the white, I mean, just on its own, like you said, the black and white, this yeah. could be done in any colour. It could be the Miri card, it could be a coloured card. But when you actually pop it over the top of the colour, it means that you've actually got your letter coloured nice. in. Now, I've done exactly the same as that. With yeah. the red ink, you can just see the slight shade difference there. And then I've cut just around the outside of the letters and the nice straight block capital letters yeah. they're nice and easy to cut out but i've actually now got a letter that i can work with you could straight stamp straight onto your project but i did i wanted to play it safe and make sure i've got that nice letter you can see where i've stamped on the white card behind like i did earlier and that was just nina card that i've put behind it so it's not too weighty yeah you could use the stamping card anything i love the black silhouettes over them it's i gorgeous. think they look great and then i've used a black ink to stamp with and I was just rummaging through my stash for a new home and the quirky side of me thought this is great this is from our gnomes collection yeah so this is going to be the new home design perfect so I've actually got that ready and stamped it all out here colored it in and then I've stamped out the happy bit here in the block letter in here in black ink and this is going to finish off my word there Gorgeous. all right so we've got happy on the front so I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue on the back of here. And I'm sorry that this one's a wee bit rushed. As I say, we try and fit as much as yeah. we can into the shows for you. But it does. It's like a time warp. I always say the same when I come yeah. up here. It just flies by. I was just thinking, if, you've got an, if you're have got if you northern, like me and you, Jan, yeah. you don't need to put the H on the front could of this. Just have an happy. It could be, oh, I'm dead happy. Happy new home. Yeah, yeah it didn't need any H. H's, does it? <laughs> And then inside, I've used the rest of the stamp and I've used the new home bit yep. and an extra little bit off the gnome stamps to just create nice. that piece inside. So you've got your happy new home. This was from the gnome set to go with the, uh, the little toadstool hat. And I just thought, yeah, what a fun way to actually use those designs. Uh, if someone was moving house, it could have been happy birthday just the same. Absolutely. So yeah, really good fun with them. 
A brilliant collection. I love those. I actually love the letters. Simplicity. Simplicity? Simplicity is sometimes the best. Uh, great more deals for you here on the Winner's Circle on Play Your Crafts Right. We are heading to the farmhouse. Yes, we are. We are out with Nature Garden. It's a stamp and die collection. So many different dies within this and an incredible price. £52.61. A great saving. First of all, we're starting here with the wonderful Simply Thankful. It's a great collection. Remember, these dies are perfect. So many different things you can do with these. The chickens, the uh, the the goose. Not the goose. Yeah, the swan. Goose. Is it a goose? Is it a goose? It is a goose. It's a goose, yes. Goosey, goosey, gander. Goose. Uh, and the little rabbits, the flowers, thankful, all different sentiments. And then as well, you've got the we can do it. I love this. The the woman. It's the kind of, um, oh, what's the, the woman with the cap? Very British thing. Do you know the British, like, uh, the woman, she's got, yeah, the you can do it with a fist clenched, she's got the headband in from right. the wall. I know, you'll know You've exactly what me I then. mean. When you see it, you'll know exactly what I mean. That, yeah, uh, the flowers here as well. It's so beautiful. We can do it at the house and the wonderful woman there as well. Then you've got your May, your day bloom. Again, dies and stamps within here. Again, you've seen time and time again, the dies are made to work with the stamps and this. Let your love grow. I love this. It's so unique. You know, if someone's brand new to a brand new house, imagine just making them. I've made you something. It's a little pouch here with some seeds in for your garden. Imagine how good that would be that they could use this. Let your love glow. It's something, it's something so unique and so different with the stamps. Plus, as well, you've also got the flying by to say hi with our wonderful swans at Geese Show. So it reminds me of Coronation Street, this with the three geese and as well you've got the last one as well the beautiful enjoy the ride with a pickup truck as well absolutely stunning 50 pounds 61 does a great saving that you're saving yourself over 25 percent today on this deal it's a great collection i love the farmhouse collection so many options with it so many possibilities at uh, jan what are you going to be doing with the farmhouse collection Right, so again, a little bit of speed crafting for you because I've prepped a lot of these pieces ready so that we could actually get going with it. But I chose two of the stamp sets. As you know, I love my stamping and colouring. So I yeah. chose We Can Do It and I chose Simply Thankful and I've used a mixture of these. So I'll just show you the images that I've done. Now, these are just stamp sets, so they don't come with a die, but they're easy enough to just fussy cut out. You can see there on that one, we've got several images. So I've actually done that lady and I just think you wouldn't mess with no. her, would you? No. She's got a very determined look on her face there. And then you've got the little farmhouse itself. Yeah. So we've got that one there. And I've also done the Wellington boots there and the little bucket with the flowers in so i wanted lots of different images to actually decorate the card with so that was the first set and then in the second set you've got the animals going on in there so again i've got that beautiful sort of tray of vegetables in there with the little um, squash in the back the pumpkin whatever it is and then yep. i've done the cockerel and then the most gorgeous little tiny oh chicks there as well so i've got several of the pieces Cute. just to put together to make a, um, a design and we're going to go for a, a gatefold design on there so let's just pop those to one side and i'd literally got all those ready because it does take a while to do the stamping and the coloring aspect of it yeah. so we've got those ready and then these are actually oh, pop wow. outs in the back of that pad yes so i've just popped that out it says dear friend on there and i've got that on some foam pads at the ready so my card blank is going to be a five and three quarter square again it's that same fold and then we've just folded it back and i've got some of the papers with the coordinating cardstock yeah and then this is the reverse of the flower paper so the double-sided and then this one's going to fit on the front here so let's just get that one stuck down into place and then the z fold You'll see when I actually open the card up, you yeah. can see where we're at with that Z shape, which is where it gets its name from. So when we pop this up, you can see the beginnings of that Z oh, there. Cute. But what we're going to do is put another piece on. And again, I've used scraps of the card. So if you imagine your piece of cardstock, this is literally taken from the bottom here. Yeah. Scored in exactly the same places. And then all you do is rotate it 180 degrees oh, so that okay. you've got the long side on here yeah. and the short side in the back there. Perfect. Okay, it's as simple as that. So again, I've just put some tape ready on the back of these to stick that first part 
to the front of the card and you could decide whether you want it level with the bottom I usually just work them up slightly so that there's a bit of a gap yep. at the bottom there and that one can be stuck on the front there and then I've got tape on the back of this piece so the middle section and the end of this one stay tape free it's yep. just stuck here and then behind this last little piece. You've seen lots of us, mate. I love this design of card. Yeah, it's so It just cute. gives that little bit extra space to decorate. And then I'm going to add a bit to this one as well. Yeah. So again, fold it all flat. Make sure you're central. And then that piece is going to stick flush with the edge of the card there and give that one. So we've literally now got our card that looks like so. Now in here, I wanted an extra piece to add some detail mm -hmm. to. So all I've done is cut one of those... Um, little mechanisms that if you've got the pop-up boxes that we make you'll understand where I'm going with this one yeah. it just puts another layer in here that you can use to add some of your images to so I've just scored along each edge and put some tape on it so I'm, I'm what I'm going to do is drop it inside that square there yeah. and stick it in so just to make life easier for me I'm just going to pop this one down the middle there yeah. and then stick it roughly straight across and then it will all fold flat when it's actually so you can pop it in your envelope and then you've got that pop out at the ready so what we're going to do then is just start decorating so this is the easy bit we've got some foam pads on the back of the sentiment there so this one's going to go on the back there so that we can see and it just says dear friend so we'll just take those little pieces off don't let me down at the 11th out there we go so this one's going to go in the back of here i love this car jan like so it's gorgeous some of the pieces are going to stick flat yeah so i'm going to have the little wellingtons and i pick the turquoise color to match the design paper the wellingtons are going to stick in the middle there and then the little house is going to go on that piece oh, that i put yeah. in the middle so that it looks as if it's a bit further back yeah so obviously everybody's at the front of the game but the farmhouse is there in the background so yeah. this one's going to stick just the bottom piece of it on there so that you can still see it it's gorgeous this card jan we're going to have the lady on the front there because she's the one that uh, that means business there she's in yeah. charge has she got a name i don't know we could give her a name couldn't we Sally, yeah, Erin said Sally. Big Sal. <laughs> you can't go a Big Sal, Erin. Big Sal's here. Got her on the front. Bless there. her. So oh, Nicola, Big Sal. All I've right. got the bucket on a little bit of foam. So some of the items are raised and some of yeah. them are flat. So this one's just going to go down here with her. I've got one of the little chicks on the tiniest bit of foam you've ever seen. Do you know what I love about this set though, is that they are so interchangeable. Like the yeah. chicks can be used on an Easter card, the flowers could be used on a spring card. Like there's so much you could do with it. Couldn't you? That's what I like about the stamp yeah. set, George. You know, if you buy them as the bundle, we can yeah. always offer you the best deal on them anyway. So you know you're yeah. gonna get a good price. But there is so much sort of mixability with them, yeah, there absolutely. really is. So again, we've got that lovely basket of veg. And then we've got the cockerel just sort of overseeing that nobody pecks his, uh, his veg there. No. So he's going to stand watch there at the edge. Look, we'll pop him down here so that nobody's messing with his veg. And then we've got one more little chick there following him round. Yeah. And you just create, you know, just have a bit of fun with it. Create those little scenes. He's there, look. And it is fruit and veg so day. All those little tiny pieces. Yeah. So you see there that oh. you've got them in there opened up. So when we turn it round there, you've got all the images, as many as you want to Perfect. play with, to a dear friend there. A stunning collection. It's the okay. Farmhouse Stamp and Die collection. 25% off on this bundle today. £52, $61. Platinum price, £41, $60, $48.80. Can you believe it? We are approaching the end of Play Your Crafts Right. What a brilliant way to kick off your Saturday. Thank you so much for this today, Jan. I've really enjoyed myself. And I've won, so I'm even more happy. Yes! I know. It's so good. Uh, guys, we aren't live at the moment, but we are still doing our wonderful prize giveaway. So all you've got to do is head to Facebook or Instagram. You'll see a wonderful post on there. All you have to do is comment, and you've got the chance of winning these amazing gift bags. One's for Facebook, one's for Instagram. I don't think you get the bag itself, okay? But you get the contents with it in the side of the bag. Guys, there's discovery kits in here. There are stamps, more stamps and dies. 
Um, yeah, you, yeah, your marker, get spectrum noir quality markers in here. You know how good. Embossing folders, small stamps, paper pads, and spectrum noir goodies. Go, just two, three, one. Instagram and Facebook, just comment. Uh, so much coming up for the rest of the day as well. I'm going to be back very, very shortly with Craig for Craft Along at 3 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. East Coast time, and then at 7 p.m. and 2 p.m. East Coast time, Craft House is going to be here today. Jan, thank you so much for today. It has been you are welcome. wonderful. Absolutely welcome. I always love being at this side of the uh, the studio. I love the uh, the demo in, the colour in, the stamping, you name it. And then I got all sorts of different things uh, lined up for future shows as well. Absolutely. It's going to be a great day here on Crafters TV. Remember, keep getting involved whenever you are on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And remember that prize giveaway. Make sure you check out the basket and make sure you head to crafterscompanion.co.uk dot com or dot eu and you can have a look at the full range get ahead of the show see what's coming up for you later on today it's going to be wonderful and i just must say barbara thank you so much for naming the wonderful little kitten george i got a wonderful little kitten named after me george oh. i did ask for it if anyone wants to name their cat or dog warm after and cuddly, me george just like you warm and cuddly it's only <laughs> seven ten days old head to my facebook page george aiken cc to see the wonderful george the kitten i'll be seeing you very very shortly check out your baskets grab yourself a cup of tea and maybe a slice of cake it's a saturday after all and i will see you very very soon goodbye for now